Hello, Let's Play fans. This is Steel Crescent bringing you more Let's Play Cave Lyra. In the last episode, we took out the core and got Curly. So in this episode, we're going to make our way through the waterway. Now, you'll notice something different, that we're not in the waterway this time, and my health is a bit higher. Or lower. doesn't matter. That's because... Well, that's because uh, I had to redo the entire game because I failed the good ending, apparently. And the video completely lagged out, so... Yeah. But enough about that. Let's get started. Into the water where we go. I did a quick talk with Pink Amina Hogue, and I know exactly what I need to do. Hopefully I won't screw up this time. Hopefully neither of the video will. Alright, take care of these baddies. Don't want to take too long down here, because I th think after a bit of time she dies, or you, when you pass a certain point. I don't want to risk it, though. I actually got a different recording device, because FF Split doesn't like me, and this is supposed to be just as good. Maybe even better. We'll see. Alright, down into the water we go. Take it right down here, over the spikes. Yeah, we gotta be quick here, though. I'm not sure if it's timed or not. We'll just have to move along and find out. Right up, into the left. Yeah, you gotta do this just right, you'll have to go around, or you'll be going around in circles. Let's turn on our polar star and see if we can get it back up. Damn, forgot to hit level two. And it's back at level two, which is actually better. Because it has broken DPS. Alright, do not go down. You want to get right here and bring Curly into this house. Now, we, what we want to do is rest. For two reasons. First of all, we restore our health. Second, we want to go to this bookshelf. No, where is it? Covered in dust. Oh, weird. We should be able to... We should be able to actually get a, you know what, mm -hmm. you know I have to record what I learned in that notebook. We should be able to find a book here. Yes, there it is. Surface developed robots have limitations on their operation underwater. If they are submerged for too long, for, for too long a period, their system automatically shuts down to avoid short circuiting. The following is a description of the proper method for caring for a flooded robot. Learn how to treat flooded robots. Yay! When the robot has been dried via the air aforementioned procedures, the system will automatically begin rebooting process. Alright, let's do this. You want to drain the water from Curly? Yes! Oh, Dots, you're alive! Oh, I'm so glad. I didn't think we were going to make it. Once you fell unconscious, I couldn't think of any other way. Looks like my air tank worked just like, like I had hoped. Ah. She fell sound asleep. Appears it takes some time to reboot. Alright, let's save our game. Alright, now that we've saved her, I think that's I think that's all we need to do. I hope that is. I guess we take her along with, so let's save our game. Alright, we don't got a whole lot of time, so. Go! We gotta be very quick, it looks like. If she gets too full of water, she'll die. Pretty much die. Ouch! If we keep that up, we're gonna die. Yeah, she can't last forever, and I'm killing poor Lyra. I'm so sorry, Lyra. Damn it. Alright, now we have a boss battle coming up here very shortly, which is right here. Something's coming! 
Alright, this boss isn't too hard, but we want to be quick. Watch out for those blocks, they really hurt. Alright, with the sword, this guy should be no problem. Yes! First shot! Oh no, we lost her. Uh, we fell. Right, where's Curly? Where the hell did she go? Weird. I was supposed to bring her along there. Is she in Arthur's house? No, I don't see her. Let's try the save point. Is she in here? Yeah, that was stupid. Let's fill up, though. I'm not going to save just yet. Actually, I think we do want to go to uh, Arthur's house, though. There's something we need to collect. Only you. I see you. The doctors acquired the red flowers. Now and Mamigas have all fallen into his hands. So the tragedy has become an inevitability. I should have allowed at least Sue to escape when I had the chance. Receive the booster 2.0. Please heed my request. If you see Sue again, I want you to take this, take her and flee this island. Actually, I think we've messed up. We were supposed to catch... Ah. Uh. Damn. One second, let me talk to my friend. Yeah, I'm sorry about this. I'm just seeing if I've gotten this down correctly, so I do apologize. You guys can see my chat partially. Alright, I think I haven't messed up yet. Alright, sorry about that, guys. I was just making sure I didn't fuck up. Alright, now that we have the booster, let's put it on. Alright, from what I just got told, uh, she'll just reappear. No, I don't want to remove it. Alright, with that, we can now do that. Hit jump, and then jump again. Hit jump and hit left, right, up, or down. Alright, now that we got the booster, though, we got some a goodie to a collect. In an old familiar place. See up there? Let's head on up. Because this will take us back. To the first cave. Ouch. Just full of baddies. Yeah, for what I'm being told, I'm... Yeah, I'm sorry about the pause in the videos, guys. I really am. Just making sure I didn't mess up. Yeah, then I'm using a new recording software. You don't have to do this to DJB fan. I'm just doing it because FF Split doesn't seem to like me. It's called OBS, and it seems to be about the same. Alright, once we head in here, we're in the Hermit's Gunsmith. You haven't seen the gun I made, have you? Someone went and stole it while I was asleep. Drat, that is why I should have kept it in my pocket when I napped. Hey! Isn't that my gun? What are you doing with it? How are you even holding it? Give that back. Oh no! He stole our Polar Star. Only took it back. Pa! I see you've certainly been giving my gun a workout. You know, I've long believed that one's weapons should be crafted by oneself. 
that one who fights with another's weapons and considers that force his own is witless. That one who blames his tools for that which his own power cannot achieve is a fool. However, when I see this gun before me that you have used so exhaustively, it moves this man to tears. To think that, to think such thorough use were possible even before the gun's completion. Ha! I apologize for my grumbling. You can keep the gun. After I finish it, of course. And with that little cutscene, one sec. We get the polar star that becomes the spur. Sorry about that, a hair was in my face. But that it is now permanently at level 3, and if we hold down our shoot, we can charge it and let out an extremely destructive shot. This can do absolutely massive damage to enemies to watch. I don't think it'll do all their HP though since they're too weak. And look at that! That's massive damage! Yeah, we now have the strongest gun in the game. It can never degrade too, which is awesome sauce. So no more worrying about our guns de-leveling. Well, at least this gun. Now about Curly, I learned that sh she was supposed to fly off her back like that. And thankfully, we're getting the good ending isn't too much harder away now. Let's charge up and. Aww. That was awesome. I want to show you guys a full charge shot. Come on. Come on, you little jerk. Yeah, I won't show the maximum damage, but it can do like 150. But from what I heard, we don't need to worry about that shit. Now let me get my timer back up. There we go. Yeah, thankfully this recorder is free too, and it goes above 10 minutes. I have a backup file just in case this time. I copied and pasted my game. So in case I fucked up, I'll always have a backup. But enough about that, let's just get moving. I'll move this up a tiny bit so I don't blow into it. And I, was actually, I know exactly where we're supposed to go next, but we're going to hold off on going there just yet. We're going to head down back into Arthur's house. Because there's something we need to do, at least I want to do, back in the grass town. If you remember in my video, there was a door, we, there was a treasure chest we couldn't quite reach. We're gonna go reach that treasure chest. Yeah, with the booster you can travel through places a lot quicker too. So that's also nice. Ouch. Let's keep a charge going. Oh yeah, that's sexy. Enemies giving you trouble? Not anymore! This thing can do absolute massive damage with the full charge. Yeah! I love it. Now we don't have that two shot limit anymore. We can shoot this as fast as we want to. I doubt you guys noticed it. Meaning only two shots were allowed on screen at a time. It's gone now with the finished Polar Star. I think it's ranged a little longer too. That I'm not sure about. Yeah, this is why I held off on upgrading. We gotta stop messing around. Yeah, with the pulse, with the jetpack, we can go a lot quicker and avoid death. Ouch! That wasn't very nice. How dare you hit Lyra? Oh, that was close. I freaked out there. Yeah, with this, we can travel through areas a lot quicker. There's that treasure chest we couldn't get. And it contains... Oh, max missiles. I guess that's not too shabby. Sadly though, just like FF Split, this recording device does not have a pause function. So, yay. It's not a huge issue, but... When I have to do something like talk to a friend, which I did earlier, which I do apologize for. 
I can't just pause it and say, okay, we're back. Though I noticed this one's volume lowering option is a lot more reliable than FF Split. Maybe, yeah, it seems a lot more reliable than it. So I did some. But here's the downside it only seems to record in FLV, which record uploads to YouTube fine, but I can't use my Movie Maker to edit, so. Piss, I know. So when I play, I best get my shit straight. Alright, now I'm gonna show you guys something that's gonna be important for later. And then we're gonna head to the area we need to head to. We still have some time left. It's here in the graveyard. Be sure to master this uh, booster because we're gonna n need to master it for the hell. For the Bloodstained Sanctuary. See this dude? You got some business with me? Yes. Now remember him, we're gonna need him for later. But for now, let's head to the egg zone. The egg corridor, actually, sorry. Yay, pain. Seriously, this game really is like Metroid. Yeah, I know, the Mimiga Village gets really creepy. Oh, I've never did grab this, actually, when I might rerun through. <laughs> Yay, it only took us until this video to get it back. Got it twice in this Let's Play. Alright, let's go to Arthur's house. I might be going a little over 20 minutes for this, but so be it. To the Egg Corridor. That's our next destination. Oh, shit! This place has really changed. Oh, God, what the hell happened here? Enemies don't seem much different, but this place has been torn to shreds. There's dead dragons. Oh my god. There's dead dragons everywhere. Oh my god. It's, this game really is grim dark as fuck. Oh, there's spikes too, and they really fucking hurt. I hope the save points are still there. There's a dragon alive. Alright, let's wait till he breathes his fire and unload a bit into him. Awesome. And with that, we get max missiles increased. Ow, those guys seem a lot meaner now. Don't want to hit those spikes, those really hurt. Oh shit! Some of them fall too! Oh, that was close. I hope the save point's still here. Oh my god. Dick. Let's be careful here. Alright, wait till that falls. Now we gotta take it out. Yeah, it seems we had to go through there. Oh my god, this place is really- f Oh fuck! That hurt? No, for that... Dick. Yeah, this will pretty much one-shot any enemy in the game. End of story! Oh shit! I don't know what it planned on doing, but I don't want to find out. Save point would be really nice right now. Yeah, that mad skill stuff right there. I didn't mean to do that. So we're really hurt. I need to save that life pot. Yeah, I managed to keep it this time. Let's charge up our gun because we have some bad at. Oh shit. Yeah, I noticed that the last. Get the hell out of the way. I right, charge it up. Shoot up and unload. Egg. Oh god. Oh, a treasure chest. Max missiles increased by. F oh no. Oh, nutsack. Oh shit. Oh 
Oh damn! Boss time! I didn't expect it, and we're dead. Thanks for giving us the save point game. Well, now we know what to expect, so that's it for this episode. We know what lies ahead, and that's the egg, uh, egg zone. And it looks like it's full of dragons too. That was pretty fucked up. So what awaits us in the the egg corridor? What dangers await us besides dragons and dead bodies? Something's got to be the cause of this. And we'll find out in the next episode, so stay tuned for more Cave Lyra.